<laughs> Let's get it. That's not a bad color. That green bayonetta? Yeah, very nice. Very nice color. She has a nice color. One, go! Alright, bayonetta on PS2. PS2? PS2. PS2? PS2. That's where we always start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen's the PS2? Yes, gladly. What a fine day to pick PS2. Of course. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> Ooh, good punish there from uh, J Grunt. Nice 40%. But here comes Bayonetta damage. Ah, oh, damn. Already at 90. Yeah, Bayo's a, a very oh, passive character in this game. You're dead. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah. Gonna eat Like, that. roll away just to get the right positioning for it. That was... Giant fist off the side. It's like they were playing Bayonetta. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like in the game. It's <laughs> just like in the game. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Crazy. Footstool. Nice punish on the on the landing. All right, so from Bayonetta's perspective, I, I feel like most of the game plan revolves around the slide and some button whips just like make it seem like they're not gonna go for it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a lot of playing around their buttons, not staying still, because if you stay still as Bayonetta, like, what are you doing? You're not playing Bayonetta. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, she's... Ooh, that... Mm, almost looking for him. Yeah, she's a character... She, uh, she's turned into a lot of... Uh, she's a big, like, kind of bait and punish uh, character in this game. Because like she, if she goes, uh, like shield is really powerful against her. So you need to like put yourself in a situation where you can get your opponent to swing, so you can be like, ha, 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 combo time. Save the jump, nice. Also, the character has an amazing recovery as we just saw right there. So like they didn't really get. Uh, oh yeah, they coming back. Gimped by the falling back air. <laughs> yeah, they big coming back. Yeah, especially when they save that jump. Forward throw, almost killing, almost. That rage, too. Yeah, Bayo's nice. definitely gonna be a nice very game. hard character to like to grab, especially if uh, if she has the lead, you know. So uh, right now, Jagrun really has his work cut out for him. Uh, pretty already lapped in percent. Okay. Very difficult situation. Oh, okay. That was some weird interaction right there. That was like mostly due to like character positioning. Forward air, taking the stock. Nice stuff, nice stuff. All right, Jagrun finally taking that stock, but at what cost? Already at 180. Oh my god, we're reaching 200. And the down, down throw? throw gonna nice. kill off so the top. 200. Yeah. All right. Amazing. So, so Amarillo is still with this full stock lead. Jagrun still has his work cut out for him. Just endless that paperwork. Was, Desk job never ends. Cute. Working overtime. Uh, Jay Grun has to like watch how to chase this character too. As yeah. This character is like able to hit you from so far. I, like, you know, you, like you don't think it. Just like it comes I, after burner kick. Like, just like gosh. what I said earlier, where like she's kind of a bait and uh, a bait and punish character because like shield is really good versus her. You know, like you got to swing. Like you need to use that against her. You know, like make it so that uh, you make them think that they're gonna swing so you can try and punish them. You know, like you gotta bait them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Amaryllis is like is keeping the st the percents even, and that's exactly what they want. You know, like what. Uh, what are you gonna do? You have the full stock lead? So, yeah, I'll take it. All right, nice. but Jay Grunt can again down tilt, up smash, classic Greninja stuff, uh, evening up the stocks, but once again, really high percentage deficit here. So nice. It's also an amazing escape tool right there, the afterburner kick. It's the guy I messed up my mouth. <laughs> oh, oh right. tries to read the. A little hungry on that read there, yeah. And you know what? Jagrun's closing the gap here. Ooh, edge guard situation. It's very yeah, hard I to edge guard making a lot of Bayo. Here. I, I think honestly, keeping stage control is might be like a better effort. It's, it's just like trying to trade with her up B. Like I don't really know too much about like how Greninja's hitboxes interact with her like her recovery tools, but they're usually pretty big boxes. 
Oh, up there. Ooh, so the drag down up air. Drag down up air on the platform Ooh. into up smash. Amaryl is in the lead the entire time. But right, right at the very end, uh, Jay Grunt able to clutch it out. Playing the slow game, try, playing keep up and catch up the entire time, uh, but turned it around at the very end. Uh, great, great stuff. Talk about Yeah, I wasn't uh, expecting that at all. Yeah, I, I kind of really thought Amaryllis had it in the bag. Confirmed there, yeah, but Amaryllis needs to like, I think that was a mistake, that forward smash. They just Possibly. needed to like not like stay on the platform when that situation was happening. Ninja had all the rage for that comeback. Yeah, I think we're just going back to the same stage. I didn't see them leave the arena to first stage. Yep, yeah, we're going right on back. Yeah, definitely not a stage ball, more of a. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Amaryllis was issue. winning the the entire time. So uh, if anything, they just got to be like, all right, let me just uh, not <laughs> mess up the end. And I think we'll be good. I think, I think we'll be fine. Let me just keep kicking his ass. And it's just like, yeah. but like that entire time, just the fact that Jagron was able to like uh, cinch it out uh, shows that like his patience, his resilience, and his adaptation were definitely like on on fleek. Because like even though he was at a great on deficit, fleek. yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your slang terms when Bandit is on the screen. I see you. <laughs> Why you gotta do this? I got man? you done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, right. yeah, so Jay Grunt uh, with a uh, slight deficit in the percent here, but hitting those big moves, evening up the uh, set percent. <gasps> All right. Yeah, that's, get off that platform. kind of going kind of hard on that one. <laughs> so you do not want to be there when Greninja is like right under you. Yeah. <laughs> he will murder you. Oh, no confirm there? Okay. All right, very even situation here. Already much better for Jay Grunt uh, versus the first game, but still losing quite a bit in the percentage, which is going to result in that first stock Solid. getting taken by Amaryllis. 80 damage with a keep away character can be a really solid lead, you know? All they have to do is, you know, just kind of win the next few turns and just really solidify like this. this lead. Ooh, good just damage. like this. Jay Grunt has to not Chase get him. too ahead of himself. Oh boy, oh boy. Ninja. All right. I like that fade back falling fair. He was able yeah, to fade out that sure was pretty good. Oh, right. what? Oh my god. And and the last few hits combos into that? Greninja already at 70 damage. is kind of already on the table uh, for Bayonetta to be able to get a kill. So Amarillo is definitely going to be looking for it. Ooh, forward tilt? No, I'm not going to kill. Maybe a little bit closer. Ooh, but. Hydro pump. All right, not going to really impede too much on that recovery, though. Ooh, oh, just the barely air. missed the forward and the air. Nice. And ended up getting juggled into back air. Uh, now, Emeralds with a solid two-stock lead here. This Similar is just... Similar position, uh, like even, game one. Kind of even better for Amaryllis. This is all just cream now. Like, just the cherry on top. Just all extra damage. <gasps> all right. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that whiff smash attack gonna uh, pay for it with that uh, first stock. Jay Grunt again, very large deficit. Honestly, kind of lucky that he took the first game, given the position <laughs> he's in right now. Oh. All right. Is that enough? Nice. No. I feel like you have charged it maybe a little bit more, but I don't know if that would have done it anyway. Regardless. Uh, this is less time there. Yeah. Regardless, they don't uh, give you much time for which time anymore, like they do in the old game. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah, exactly. Like I'm the character even more ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh, nice back here. All right, some edge guarding, but nothing too much. Can uh, Jay Grun keep stage pressure? Not so much. Nice. Oh. oh. Nice. Okay. Got a pretty solid juggle Similar going situation. on. Punishing oh, the landing, keeping the, the juggle going. I wouldn't almost, want to go almost. that D versus Bayo. I feel like I don't feel like Greninja really gains too go. much, but Forward Air gonna barely do it, but do it nonetheless. Getting that kill, and evening up the stocks. Now we're seeing a very close repeat of what happened uh, in the last game. Can Jay Grunt repeat what he did? Oh, that was smart. I, Just I to love that. Avoid getting punished there. That I love so that smart. sort of play. That that's like like the of the few things that are unique about Bayonetta. I really like that sort of stuff. 
But all right, you're Amaryllis. Just changing the property of your moves. Just yeah. like holding the button. All right, Amaryllis gonna steal up with a solid low percent uh, one stock. So uh, bringing us plays. to game three. Yeah, let's see what happened here. Yeah, just playing it safe. Nice, reading the jump and uh, holding on to theirs. Perfect. Yeah, Amaryllis needs to play exactly like this. Let's uh. With punish attempts, because that's how I feel like that, that character like just gets snowball on. Yep, and just it was like definitely that. definitely happening in the game too. Like it was almost about to happen, but then like running right on back to uh, PS2 game three. Uh, honestly, yeah, I I'm not really that surprised. These are uh, these have been really close matches. So if anything, they just want to. I don't think maybe they don't gain too much from counter picks. Possibly, or they just don't want to risk like not knowing something about the other character, you know. Uh, Bayonetta That's definitely true. kind of like a sleeper character. You're not going to see her too often. So like he's like, mm, I would be comfortable here as Greninja, but what does she get out of it? I don't know. <laughs> but we've been doing pretty all right on PS2, so you know what? Let me just do it at a sheer skill and just work on that. So yeah, respect to the PS2. Yeah. She's going to game three. Yeah, um, Amaryllis always with these like uh, initial leads. Uh, all three games now. Yeah, Bayonetta's reward off of one like stray hit is pretty good compared yeah. to uh, Greninja's. Kinda, it kind of just shows. I'm saying Greninja's is bad. It's yeah, just... no, for sure. But it just kind of. Bayonetta uh, gets a lot. It kind of <laughs> just shows that like the way that uh, Jay has been playing that early neutral is kind of been playing into Amaryllis's hands. You know, uh, like he's got to switch something up in that neutral. Is this <gasps> no, no, okay. no, no, no? Yeah. He already wasted the jump. Jagrunt continuously playing keep up. Like I feel like he's constantly being reminded uh, of like how to play. It's like, bro, it's game three. Let's not make <laughs> like similar mistakes before. Granted, Amaryllis being really tricky, you know. So amazing stall by, by Amaryllis. Anything right Jagrunt could be trying, Amaryllis just being like, nah, I got I got an option for that. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, Amaryllis doesn't look too pressured in that situation. Slide. Nice. Nice damage. All right. Basically, have a full stock lead. Oh. Can Jagron take this stock without taking any more damage? 100's already going to be kill. a really solid uh, lead for Amaryllis, even if he's able to take his stock right now. That move looks like you just walk up and forward smash it, too. Like that, that whiff the smash attack that she Ooh. does. All right. Punishing Ooh, the dash died. attack. With fade back fair, again, 100 damage, uh, still very good lead for Amaryllis. Oh. Wow, what a trade. Good movement from Amaryllis right there. Does he really not have a better option to punish uh, down air on shield? I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean, he should be able to back air here. I do, she's not that low. His back air is, like, big enough, I think. Ooh, up flip, back air, nice All confirm. Right. Amaryllis firmly in control of this set and this match. Oh, you're too close. Uh-oh. Good 33 from 1-up B. Very nice. Greninja. Oh, Ooh. oh. anti -airism. Yeah, Jagrun has to watch how they approach there. I want to take more unnecessary damage. Like slowing the game down with the shirt with the water shurikens would help a lot here. Yeah, I wish he would slow it down from the start, man. Yeah. He's been, uh, cause like he clearly shows that like he can keep it even or even turn it around, but you know, uh, just kind of showing that Amaryllis's patience is uh, a little bit unmatched. Uh, in this scenario, and uh, Jagron kind of fallen for it. Yeah, next hit would probably. He's he's got his stock right here. Oh boy! Oh. All right, nice nice uh, fake out. Every time. Oh, oh the right. time. No. But multi, -hit. multi hit. Yep. He's trying to be so careful because like, at the very least, can he not like take Amaryllis' stock and not be at 140? So, you know, if you can do it at 112. Ready. That's progress. I noticed something. Does Bayonetta like completely lose which time she gets hit? Yeah, yeah. That that's been since oh, Sasha. Okay. If, if she get, if she takes a hit, then uh, which time completely is canceled? Forgot. Yeah. 
This is I don't like see this often. Ooh, all right. Ooh, nice confirmed. Finally, I'm really liking these footsies. Uh, he's been dancing around. They didn't exchange any hits for the longest, and uh, was able to you know sneak in that down tilt to bear. And now evening Attack. up the stock, 120 percent. Oh, all right, Jay Grunt. Pushing a lot of pressure. Oh, the damage. Ooh, it's it's right. building up. It's snowballing. It's going. Emerlis might be getting a little oh, bit uncomfortable the here. Jay Grunt turning things around, but he's not out of the woods. Still very high percent. Emerlis is still oh. in the lead. I love this. He's finally like not committing to like uh, moves and just kind of just using his speed, using his agility to just like make them think that they can do something. Oh, but I'll getting caught. Forward air. Ooh. Good landing from Amarillo right there, even though they have to force themselves on the platform. Any good hit from Greninja can kill. They got all the rage. They're just gonna be fishing for that down tilt. Alright, it's getting pretty up. close. Ooh, alright. I like the order. fade back there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you know he wanted it, but he hesitated for sure. Oh she has no air dodge. Oh, the bad situation. Oh. Could that combo? No. Oh. Get out of there. That Go was back. like... Go back to neutral. Catch it! Oh, nice. It kills. Nandai, oh, whatever the hell she says. <laughs> <laughs> Tetsuzanko, I don't know, like, I don't know what the move's called, but yeah, good stuff to Amarillo for taking it. Yeah, catching Tragic. the landing uh, and just sealing it out. Yeah, the fro uh, Bayonetta's forward throw is very strong, and uh, <laughs> even from center stage, I mean, 170 damage after hit, what do you expect, you know? <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, Really good play from both of them. Amaryllis did a fantastic job of just like being in control basically the entire set, uh, even <laughs> game one uh, losing. Oh, man. Um, Jay Grunt definitely showed that he's uh, compare like competitive and able to keep up with it, but like for some reason needed, needed uh, a wake up call game after game on like what to do to play slow and stuff. Like I, <laughs> I think he definitely played the best in that example in that last game. You know, but like I want to see that more often. It is scary though. It is scary to play like that kind of neutral. But true, it can true. it can pay dividends. Just do it sooner. All right. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be moving on. Uh, it's gonna be next match is gonna be nine super pie versus Vivi.